Today is the day I get my new motorcycle. The CB300R has treated me so well. Up until this point, I think it's time for an upgrade. So I missed my fast bikes back in the day, my CB600RR and my Kawasaki ZX10R. I'm not getting another sport bike, but I am gonna get something that is quite a bit faster than my CB300. Also, this bike is going to be great for taking longer trips. I also picked up a new pair of Alpine Stars racing gloves. So I'm super excited. Let me introduce you to my 2019 Yamaha Tracer 900 GT. Right now I have my CB300R in the garage here and I will be selling this bike. And honestly, it's been such a good bike. It really has. At the same time, the CB300R does not have nearly the capability that the Tracer 9 does. Obviously they are two completely different bikes and I didn't buy the CB300R to hopefully be like my previous motorcycles. I bought it simply for commuting back and forth to work and it's done a great job at doing that. It's been a really fun bike. I'm glad I upgraded because I love this bike so much. I actually purchased this bike used and the previous owner had put a shorter windscreen on there, which I like a lot better than the factory windscreen. There was a dash cam set up on the bike which is pretty cool. I've got that in the front and the back. So the bike's a beast. Going from a 300 to a 900cc bike is a game changer. There are quite a few reasons that I had upgraded to the bike, but the main reason that I upgraded is because I wanted to be able to take longer trips. You can't really do much on a 300cc, and honestly, it sucks for riding more than like 45 minutes. The Tracer 9 is an insanely responsive bike. The shifting is ridiculously smooth compared to a 300cc where I feel like you're constantly being jerked around on the bike. And even for being such a big bike, it is super flickable when cruising around, which I was really surprised with. I had rode the Versi 650, and that was not nearly as flickable as the Tracer 9. I'm overall just really excited because that means I get to take some long trips on the bike, which means I get to share more YouTube videos with you guys. I'll probably do a review video after I put like three to 5,000 miles on it because you guys seem to like the last review video that I did on my CB300R. And if you haven't seen my CB300R review video, go ahead and click right here to watch it. 